XM. The virus. virus. This is the OP and Anthony Show. The OP and Anthony Show. Or something like that. Hi, Opie and Anthony Show. Uh, Friday edition. Steven Tyler screaming. Right. Isn't it too early in the morning? Oh, my ears. Travis, my ears. We're joined in studio right now by the lovely and talented Joe DeRosa. Hi, guys. Joe DeRosa uh, was coming by. We didn't find out about this until earlier, and I swear to you, you're one of the few people that can pull that shit off. Because when they try to dump fucking guests on us last minute. Oh, oh, oh. Apparently, yesterday, uh, they asked, you asked Mr. Bill Burr to come back in, and he said, I will bring DeRosa with me. And they said, okay. Yeah. And then, uh, but guess what? Where's Bill? Yeah, where is uh, <laughs> Bill? Is he coming? <laughs> He said he's coming. We have a show going on sale in an hour. It's for January. I have to plug it because my fucking commercial hasn't been running. <sighs> so uh, yesterday when we weren't here, there was no plugs for that at Poughkeepsie. That, that's good. Are you kidding me? Mm. Oh, my I fucking annoyed. Not. Tonight, uh, they, they, it's January 16th is myself, uh, Burr, uh, David Tell, Jim Brewer goes on sale in less than an hour at the Borgata.com. And I'll be in Poughkeepsie tonight and tomorrow. But, you know. You wouldn't know that if you were listening yesterday because oh. the fucking commercial was not running Wednesday or yesterday. So thank you. Thank you. So that, I want to fucking... Why are you thanking them for doing something? I really want to bite somebody. <laughs> it is, I fucking hate... It's like, that's my job. Yes. It is. Ugh. And someone else had a job and it wasn't done. That sucks. It, it makes me want to fucking cave somebody's head in. I hate people that don't do their jobs right. Oh, that Hate was me. Them. I was supposed to be here yesterday, and I wasn't. <laughs> Oops. We're, we're, we're not you. in charge of running promos. I just took the fucking day off. <laughs> but I figured promos are running. I figured they'd be running. Yeah. yeah you know, you, we're you not here. Yeah. yeah, things like that would be scheduled, as they say. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ope's been out a couple of days on uh, some uh, personal business. Okay. But uh, uh, I, I was just like, you know something? I'm taking a personal day. Yeah. It's a perfect day for it. I mean, why not? You took a day off. Everything's going to shit. I know, right? <laughs> you know what the fucked up thing about taking days off when you have this job? Because I will always say one of the easiest jobs ever in life is right. this fucking job. The right. hardest part is getting up in the morning. Right. But it's four hours of goofing off and talking. Right. Uh, never thought I'd get paid for it. It's fantastic. Uh, but when you take the day off... You sleep until you would have been home anyway. So it's right. uh, it's almost a waste. Yeah. Believe it or not, Anthony is the one saying this. It's almost a waste to take a day off. Uh, this, you're growing up. <laughs> I, I like it. I woke up and I, it was like it was like ten or something, ten thirty, and I'm like, I would have been home already. Homo already. Well, I've been home already. I. Hi, sir. Just take a seat. Don't mind Joe DeRosa. Hi. Uh, Joe DeRosa. Zachary Levi is in right now, and it better be Levi because uh, Levi. someone said, okay. How many times do you get called Levy? A lot, often right? It's mispronounced. It's Levy. It's oh, Levy. Oh, please. It's, it's like Levi. the jeans people. It's Levi. Yeah. You've had Call to say me 501 your, if you want to. You've well. had to say that your whole life, too, haven't you? Pretty, well, well, like yeah, the much. jeans. Like the jeans. Wrangler? No. Oh, I tease. <laughs> like Jordash? You a Jordash guy? Yes. No. no, 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 no. Classic button fly, thank you. Of course. <laughs> you, uh, of course, um, from the popular uh, show Chuck. That's, that's right. Yes, that's what everybody's uh, telling me. I am going to be the biggest asshole ever. I haven't seen Chuck. Oh. That's what makes you the biggest asshole ever? No, that's that <laughs> I number. I think there's probably a laundry that's list of number things. number 73. All right, all right, good, And good. there's many more before and after, <laughs> believe me. I know that. What what is what is the uh, what is that about? Please please explain. Let me uh, break it down for you real quick. So uh, Chuck, basically, I, I play a guy who works in an electronics store, like a Best Buy or something like that. And um, you could stop right there. I'm wow. Done. wow wow <laughs> wow! I'm hooked. <laughs> I'll watch it. Um, and then basically, through this crazy series of events, he ends up with all government's top secrets in his brain. So the government sends two of the best to protect Chuck and use him to fight bad guys and terrorist plots and oh, things okay. like that. Yeah. See, that's... Uh, God, it should Titillating, be isn't something it? different than Chuck, though. Because I see Chuck and I think... Uh, Norris? Well, that, or just some 
guy on a, a sitcom kind of thing. Oh, yeah. That sounds like something intriguing. I appreciate Something that. that uh, yeah. I just, uh, you know, as long as I can pitch it to people personally, I think well, that's, just that's it. where the viewership the is. Yeah. You have to go around to everyone individually. Like every every go, Nielsen home. No, I'm Chuck like, is <laughs> this. Yes. And don't stop me at the, I work at a Best Buy type place. No. Let Although that's pretty good. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Because I go to Best Buy and it's some of the most fun time of my life. I usually leave with something I'm very happy with. That's good. Uh, Ask computer, the electronics games, guy? camera, always. I, I have it. to get like the latest thing. I have stuff in, in boxes. Not that I'm a hoarder. I aspire to be. Oh, good. But I'm not. Yeah. But I have like boxes of some electronics that I never threw away. And it's like old zip drives with a giant serial port plug that's like a foot wide, bunch of ribbon cables and matrix dot printer things. And I should you could, just throw them out. You, well, or yeah. you could cobble that all together into your own personal robot to do your bidding. I could do that, sort of a la 18, where I can make anything out of anything. Yeah, yeah. make one of those Jackie Gleason like spaceman costumes yeah. out of it. I'm the man from space. <laughs> I thought we were being invaded, Ralph. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> can I, I'm a man from space. space. Can I compliment <laughs> Jack over here for Please a second? Please no. uh, That's why I came in. If I may. <laughs> So on the show, you play like a nerdy guy that works at, in the, for the Nerd Herd, this is which true. is like Best Buy's Geek Squad, whatever. Yes, right? this is true. Nerd so like he knows that. his Chuck. I, I know. like this. So That's why he's in here. Thank God. When you watch the show, like you know, I'm a comedian and I aspire to do more than just stand up. And I, I watch the show and I'm like, I could do something like this. I, I could be in a show like this. And then you sit next to him and see his stunning beauty. And you're oh, like, oh, that that's it? why That's why I can't be at the star of a TV he show. He is a like, handsome fellow. Holy crap. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard stunning beauty. Uh, <laughs> from another man. From another man. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have the, I have all those nickels. Yeah. It's one. I have one nickel. <laughs> you owe him. He's exceptionally good looking. Yeah, that's uh, what you're, too, in, you're too kind. In, in Hollywood. Hollywood. How'd you get that big start? Was it looks? Was it talent? What'd you do? Um, casting couch. Casting what, couch. What, what happened? What no, happened? man. You know, I'm really, really blessed, honestly. I I think part of it was, I look, I was a theater nerd. I grew up just doing oh, lots it? and lots of theater. And Were you the high school play guy and everything? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. What was, what was some of the plays you had to do? Oh gosh! Bye, 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 Birdie. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, and, now and forever, and no talk in high cats. school. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of hoarders, um, that'd be a great sketch, like some viral video, just like some hoarder, and then you know, with all these cats, but it's like the cast of cats, and they're all yeah. just in someone's home. Crazy cat lady. Yeah. But it's Rum Tum Tugger. Yeah. <laughs> How do I know that? Don't even ask. I think I took every yeah. date back in the eighties to see cats. To see cats. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we get a white trash Long Island piece of shit? And I'm proud of it. Did, did you get lucky any of those times? No. No. The only pussy I saw were the cats on stage. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Tell me you got a drum roll button myself. around here. No, I have honk a horn or something. <laughs> I have that. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> that awful. <laughs> that friggin' car crash. That? That's not awful. It was that's horrible. that's uh, it's poignant. Yuck. But I did. I went to uh, and I had to like get like a. Hey, Let's get a limo. We'll go into the city. Jesus. We'll dress up. We'll go to that friggin' uh, the Russian tea room. Jesus. And then we'll go see cats. Yeah. <laughs> Just a complete white trash <laughs> night out in the city. Every time I think I'm starting to get to know you, you come no. out with another white trash garbage <laughs> white gem trash from your past. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, all right. Oh, come on. You know, you know you got to roll that big white limo like Tom Hanks and Big. Oh, you know, you're popping out the top. <laughs> the you're looking at the city. Up. Yeah. You gotta Put your hands up. Yeah. Hey, yeah. look at us. We're in the city. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, it was horrible. Uh, did you pull a can of pate out of your suit pocket? <laughs> hey, here you go. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, this place is all class. Yeah. All class. <laughs> the Russian tea room. Look at the size of his hat. It's got to be good. Yeah. I did some trashy shit, man. Right. I never I went there. Do. I never went to the Russian tea room. I've never, I never saw cats. Oh, no, what's wrong with you? I saw Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. That's not exactly a blowjob fest kind of day. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come watch Alda on stage? It's terrific. Yeah, not a date show. No, no, not at all. And How then, much uh, it though? Awesome. It's a good conversation starter. Yes, yeah. it certainly is. So, what did that mean to you? <laughs> yeah. Some 23 year old girl, you're trying to suck her tits ass. Could you prefer Jack Lemon or Alda in this role? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I, re I, I go really Lemon the... I, every time. I go <laughs> Lemon. I actually yeah, you agree. Go lemon. Yeah. You got it. And then it got to the point where after my, uh, after my uh, divorce, 
um, and I would start dating, I'd have to go to different shows like uh, The Little Mermaid. Ugh, and, oh, my God. And uh, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King. You know, girls of that age like those shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're good shows. <laughs> they are. It's music. It's, it's music. dancing. It's costumes. I felt good about myself. I laughed. I cried. I got laid. It was wonderful. Look at that. Oh, yeah. my God. Musicals are fucking atrocious, though. You don't they're like atrocious. the... atrocious. Uh, but no. Disney musicals are different because Disney's you're kind of like, like, all right, I know that. There's an element of fantasy with that, which is, is a little bit different for me. Uh, not but, quite Jim's fantasies. No, not no one dumping on anybody. Yeah, be a coffee table with a bunch of people squatting over it singing. <laughs> Fucking belting out arias. <laughs> I was, is this a subtle segue into what I've just worked on? Yes, <laughs> it is. As wow, this is really I, subtle. You saw so exactly. I was with this twenty-three-year-old broad. I was trying broad. to bed, and uh, I know. great. You, and Zach, take it away. You saw exactly where we were going with that. Yeah, one. Uh, I, I just did a movie, a, yes. an animated Disney musical called oh, shit, Tangled. We're about Disney. No, it's true. No, of course. It is. Tangled. And, and what, what do Tangled. you play? Well, it's, just, it's basically the story of Rapunzel. Mandy Moore I plays saw Rapunzel. I for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. I love that Disney animation. God damn, they get those little I... subtle things. Animation went to crap for so many years. And then uh, Disney's always been good. And they do have those little subtle things. That looks so good. Reminds me of my childhood. That yeah. should be the. Yeah. Uh, that should be a review for the movie. It is. Love the Disney animation. God damn, they got those little subtle. Th that should come up on the commercial at the bottom of the screen. They got those little subtle things. things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I actually got excited when I saw the trailer for there was there was one animated one before this, the Frog Princess, Princess and the, and the frog. frog. Yeah. I actually. I, like, you know, I'm, I, it's not really, I'm not the demographic for it, but I got excited to see that Disney was going back to the old school, actual hand-drawn animation yeah. again, because yeah, yeah, yeah. everything's been, you know, CGI, or CG, whatever it's called, it's, it's cool, but it just kind of got a little... Well, Tangled CG. I thought it was... Sorry, uh, no, it's all right. Sorry. Uh, my so job sorry. this morning was to just rub all this in your faces. That's, I'm sorry, like, man. Listen, Zach, go in there. We're not going to prep them at all. It's, you're going to go in. You're going to go for the jugular. But it's uh, CG animation. It's, it's it, not it is. quite it's like CG Toy animation. Story. No, no, no. It's like Toy Story. But by the way, by the way, it's, it's a valid point. I, look, when I first got the job, I thought it was going to be 2D because I was seeing Princess and the Frog stuff. And I was like, oh, they're going to go back to 2D, which right. I am a huge fan of, you know. What we all grew up watching that kind of stuff, but right. it's look, it's it tangled is it's fantastic, man. It, it really is a like a throwback to classic Disney animation and storytelling. Right. But you have you know younger audiences now that are accustomed to CG and they're accustomed to 3D and they're accustomed to all these kind of newer technologies and implementing those into animation and film. So that's the way they went with it, and it's still great. And you, do, I don't really feel like it's jarring. You don't you don't watch it going, oh, this is CG. You watch it go. Oh, this is like a really cool animated film, you know? See, that's what it's, I meant. Jesus. Of course. I was talking about that <laughs> because I did see the trailer. And don't worry, it'll go to Broadway in a few years. <laughs> it will. And you'll have it. another date show. Oh, yeah. Thank God. You I've can run out. a limo. <laughs> I've run out. <laughs> it's a bad day. I've been in this coat since 88. And you know what? I like wearing a tuxedo t-shirt. It cracks everyone up. <laughs> I don't wear the tuxedo. It's no. hilarious. Oh, people seem to love it. What, you are also... Uh, uh, now, this came from our crack staff. That's right. You like playing Black Ops? <laughs> I love Black Ops. Yeah. You... I'm a big video gamer in general. I, yeah. but, but Black Ops is kind of, you know, the the soup de jour. Yeah. As it as it not to use French in any way, especially since I don't speak it, but um no, it's great, man. I, I mean, played the whole series. All all of, the Call of Duties? Of all, yeah, yeah. All the Call of Duties. Me as well. And um, I as well. I don't know what the correct. Right, now, you play PC or uh Xbox, uh, Xbox 360, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I started my first person shooter career on PC. I could zero in very easy with a mouse and keyboard. I am so I love bad the nerd the that is coming out right now. Continue. Controller. You, I'm yeah. so bad with ice. Yeah. I don't know how people get 20 kills, zero deaths, things yeah. like that. But I am I'm pretty much on the bottom every time. Three kills maybe, one assist, 30 deaths. Yeah. I shoot Somebody... around everybody. <laughs> I get stabbed constantly by some 12-year-old that's calling me a Bag or something. It's horrible. Dude, there are nasty, nasty kids online. It's yeah, really yeah. not. I and and it's really sad because these kids think that they, you know there's such an anonymity with an online kind of personality or avatar, or whatever. Uh -huh. And their parents don't know what the heck they're saying. No, they're not. So they're getting away with really atrocious nonsense, like 
racist and sexist and just overall bigotry. It's yeah, like, yeah. you want to reach through the thing and slap them across the face and say, I don't care who you are. You can't say stuff like that to people. That's horrible. I know. Yeah. And, and by the way, that's probably Noodle 61, which is me. <laughs> so I get I get mad, though. I get so angry. I, I, I yell can, at I the do, game. I do understand, though. Uh, I have a lot of friends that started playing uh, first-person shooters or any games, really, on on their PCs, so I understand the frustration of going from a mouse and keyboard to a controller. Oh. I only started on consoles, so I never really had the problem. Elitist. Of, Elitist, <laughs> you shall not triumph. <laughs> um, but I, but I love, con I like the controller. I always have a hard time because I, there's so many other keys on a keyboard yeah. that I, my fingers start finding other things. At least I, it's laid out uh, flat, though. Like, the controller, it's like, okay, I'm hitting the bottom of it, the sides of it, the top, the... Well, the pro uh, are you listen, you Father Time. Yeah. Get with I the know. program. I don't know, you kid. I liked Coleco's <laughs> football game. <laughs> are you <laughs> trying on PS2 or, or PS3 or Xbox? Xbox. Yeah. I uh, yeah. I, I hate. I can't do the PS3 control. I hate the PlayStation control. But the Xbox controls, I think, are very easy to it's use. It's a good control. Ergonomic. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Look, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to pawn it off on the controller. I personally suck. Oh, okay. I, I'm bad at the game, and it frustrates me because I want to be really good, but I'm not. I see guys walking around, and I'll follow a group of five guys, and I'll be like, all right, I'll go with these five guys. One shot rings out. I'm the dead guy. Yeah. It just never fails. I suck. How do you do? You do? You, are you good? I do pretty good. I, yeah. I, you know, it depends on how much time I have to dedicate to any game. Like, you know, if I, if like in the off season when we're not shooting, and I've got nothing but video game time. Uh, I can get pretty good. I can get pretty good. But, you know, we're during the season, I'm at work all day, every day. So there's not really enough time to dedicate. Because the guys that are really good at these games oh my God, spend insane amounts of time yeah. playing. Like, yep. crazy. to the point where it's not healthy. You know, I, I can't imagine that they don't have bed sores or yeah, something. Yeah. You know, They're just eyes are constantly yeah. beat red. And the only thing running through their veins is Mountain Dew. It's, there's no <laughs> yeah. Mountain Dew and pizza. That's it. You know, how yeah. does Black Ops hold up to Warfare 2? Because I thought they released them too close together, man. No, you know what? I will say the campaign for I've only played the campaign, really. And the campaign for Black Ops is really good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's this constant I'm to nerd out just for a second. Please. So, please, but by all means, uh, uh, Treyarch and Infinity Ward are the two kind of producing companies that have gone back and forth producing mm -hmm. all the With Call the of Duty game, games, yeah. right? And, you know, for the longest time, Infinity Ward, I think a lot of people felt like they were the first one. They made uh, Modern Warfare 1, and then they made right. Modern Warfare 2, and those were the big, big sellers. World at War was Treyarch. That was a, that was a good one, but... You know, I, I don't know, but I think Treyarch, they're, they're the ones who did Black Ops, and they've done a really good job incorporating a lot of the good stuff you like from all the Modern Warfare titles. You still have your perks and all that stuff. Plus, you have the zombie mode, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, zombie mode's You can play good. as JFK and Castro and Nixon fighting off zombies. I mean, yeah, oh, wow. any Tactical. game that affords yeah. you that opportunity, I think you need to buy. <laughs> that I don't really know. is hysterical. Uh, right. I'm going to get it. I'm going <laughs> to get it. It. It, it. it is a fun game. They got a lot of the similar weaponry and stuff from the other games, but then there's that little the, like the little radio controlled car thing is yeah. just a pisser yeah that one pisses me off i'll be i'll be crouched down waiting for somebody to come around a corner and hear it's like oh here i come i'm dead yeah That's great thank you bobby <laughs> kelly talked to me about that remote control car for 10 minutes one day he made me watch clips of it on youtube yeah bobby is just yeah. hooked dude too. they got a remote control car dude and it blows things up and he, look at this dude and he was showing me the footage i was like dude it just it kind of just looked like modern warfare too so i was like i don't know man it's, maybe it is similar but, but it, it, it's new maps yeah they it's got new some maps really it's cool maps new guns and, shit. and yeah. you know lots of new gadget gadgets gadgets and gizmos and you can play as gidget and, you, and you can play yeah. as gadget beat, and beat people to death with a surfboard it's amazing <laughs> yes, yes. The, uh, the Bobby Kelly, though, when we were playing with him and fucking uh, Dane, playing with him and da Dane Cook is a knifer, and I wanted to, f well, I wanted to kill him because it was the game, but he, he would just stab everybody. And it's like, oh, he's got like 80 kills from just knifing people. And I love when you get the jump on him. Yeah. And I'm shooting with a machine gun at somebody, and he runs up. Whoosh, 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 and just knifes me. I fall to the ground going, I, I had a machine gun. That's because he likes to keep it personal. <laughs> yeah, it is a He's, very personal yeah, it's thing. Like, you know, homicidal people. They, you oh, know, yeah. When you watch 48, uh, first 48, yeah, they yeah. find a guy that's stabbed. It's like, yeah, yeah. well, obviously this isn't, uh, this is a personal This matter. is a crime of passion. <laughs> you don't stab yeah. someone in the face 80 times um, <laughs> and just for a robbery. It's, uh, Dan yeah, and I uh, bonded a bit on the Star Wars games. We were really emailing 
Star Wars. Galaxies or uh, uh, Galax? Well, not Galaxies. Um, uh, Old Republic. The trailers mm. for Old Republic yeah, and yeah, Force Unleashed too. Yeah. And he sent me one of the trailers, and he goes, "DeRosa, uh, watch this trailer. It'll make your dick hard and gl- and glow green." <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was did a it? perfect. Of course, <laughs> of course with Star did. Wars. Are you kidding me? I, 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 I flipped. Do you, you, that's a check out Force Unleashed too. That's a fun game. I've seen it. I've seen it. The trailers for it. I, I was at E3 uh, earlier this year, and the trailers for it were incredible. And I played the first one. I haven't really. I've been playing a lot of Fable Three because that's what oh, I. How is it? It's good, man. I mean, yeah. look, you know, Peter Molyneux and Lions. You know, they 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 do a good job with the the game, and it's really immersive. And you run around, and you know, just kind of geeking out. It's like an EverQuest or World of Warcraft. Yeah, kind it's of kind, yeah, but it. it's 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 lighter than that. You don't ha- you know it's it's deep, but it's not so deep that y- you are completely lost. I liked that, but the the trouble with those games are you can't leave them for any length of time and just come back. Like, I I still have a character from EverQuest that from 1998 that I pay a monthly, you know, whatever it is, just just in case. I'm like, I can't get rid of it. Yeah. Just in case. I haven't played it in years because I don't know how to play. Like, Like it's a whole new interface. They've changed it. There's new upgrades, new this, that. I mean, and I'd be in this... This zone where nobody is anymore going, this used to be where the parties were. What happened? <laughs> yeah. and, and, like, I don't know how to kill anything anymore, but I'm just so... That's a real new level of nerd when you treat a video game char- character like a gym membership. But I remember... <laughs> <laughs> I own it. I just yeah. don't go. Yeah, I just yeah. don't go. But you do... And to be a complete nerd and geek is to know playing those games and being like... I remember that area. And, like, it almost becomes a place where you knew. Like, I remember running around that place. I remember going into that cave. I remember having a pretty pretty hairy battle with something in there. Like, you remember those moments from games. It's sad. I understand your look on your face. It is sad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's what it is. It's you only know? sad because it reminds me of my own life. That's <laughs> all. I'm not judging. I'm, I'm a huge game, but you. I'll play anything at least to give it a try. Except, you know, obvious horrible games. But, like, even Sims, I play that. I like Sims City. I never played any of the like Sims. That. I mean, no. I think, I, I, I again, I'm, I'm like you. I think every game kind of presents a cool thing to check out or try out or whatever. But when you have a really limited amount of time, you re- you have to narrow it down and be like, hey, what, what do I really want to play? And it's normally first-person shooters or some adventure games. And, yeah. You know, stuff like The Sims, I think, is, is fascinating, especially how they've taken the franchise and they've made this you know whole world you can create and and all yeah. that out of sim city too you know because yeah, yeah. if you go back to sim city i remember my stepdad playing sim city and being like what is what is this you're making <laughs> your own simulated city <laughs> hence the name genius um but you know it's cool and hurricanes and things and coming through and and now that you can take over your own these little lives and families and they're procreating and going to jobs it's and it's like, like a juggling act too because you know you can't leave any one thing Thing yeah. alone for too yeah. long, or else it screws something else up. Yeah, yeah. There was yeah. always something very like peeping Tomish about The Sims to me. Like my friend was yeah. watching him go to the voyeuristic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'd, I'd go over. His, <laughs> he was into it. I go over. and He's like, "You got to see this dude. Look." And, and I, I, it was the first time I'd heard of it. And I was like, "What? I don't understand. What do you do?" And he's like, "You just watch these people <laughs> yeah. and make them do things." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, wow, uh, God complex much?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, exactly. it's totally that. It's totally that. Yeah. But oh. you know, I think people just get into the whole idea of it. But you know, every you know, place chess. Oh, I do, yes. Just trying to add you in. Oh, that's okay. Chess. I'm you, chess. you go play in the park with the timers? Uh, no, those guys are uh, home. A lot of those homeless guys are, are as good as master level players. No, I don't at all. Well, I don't how does to that do it. happen anyway? It's all they do. They play for food. I and cannot drinks. get my do life together, really that good? but I can play chess. <laughs> Grandmaster is actually one of those Washington Square to play against because they're, they're, they're just, they shit talk. They play two minute games. They're fucking Literally animal. shit talk. They're yes. talking and <laughs> shitting themselves <laughs> at the same time. It's but they're terrible. T- they're loud. They're taunters. Rook to king. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Uh, and then you feel bad because he checkmated you, and then he goes to sleep under the table. You're like, well, <laughs> yeah, I guess it all comes out in the great. wash, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, you 
you, you, just, yeah. you just lie and wait, don't you? You just sit here, you listen to us go on and on about <laughs> nonsense, and then you come out with these zingers. That's, that's, that's smart. That's, that's Jimmy. That's or, calculated. Or he sits and fumes about incompetence. Yeah, which I'm, is in good. A, I'm in a foul <laughs> mood, which has nothing to do with mind. you at all. No, no, uh, something that happened off, off the air. With, Actually, uh, Zachary has to go. We've just, just oh. got the, uh, the note. Well, hey, what hey, are you doing? What, Some kind of TV? What do you got, TV? Uh, What do you mean? A face like that has to be on television. A face like that. He doesn't get that picture. So Chuck. <laughs> Chuck Monday night today. Yes. Tangled coming out uh, November th- next week, November twenty fourth, day before Thanksgiving. Um, and then also, I got my, my company that I started t- talking about. You know, speaking of nerdy things, yes, nerdmachine.com. The nerd, yes, the nerdmachine.com. The nerd yeah. And right now, I mean, basically, the whole idea of it is just like I'm a nerd. I've been a nerd my whole life, and. I've kind of looked at our demographic of people who watch the show, and really, they're amazing people. Like, get on a Comic Con, they've been super supportive, and and they're like me, you know. I mean, they're they're ballsy and confident. They wear a Chewbacca costume if they feel like they need to. <laughs> yeah. And I felt like you know, there's all these other brands and things that represent different demographics, but nothing that really gives love to the nerd. And so I was like, well, forget it. I'll just I'll start it myself. So that's what it is. And there's a lot of shirts and apparel right now, but you know, later on, there's, there'll be software, hardware. I want to make my own games. I want to make, uh, you know, cool. and and iPhone apps and you know, just add-ons and plugins for computers and whatnot. So I don't want to speak French, but entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. I think yeah. That's what I'm seeing. That's in the you. second French term you yes, say. Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, we. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey. Zach. Levi. Levi, thank you. Thank you for uh, coming in. Man. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. No problem. Be well. We'll Good be you, right you back well. after these short messages. This is the Obi and Anthony Show. Obi and Anthony. Obi and Anthony on the virus. Sirius XM. So we just had a uh, welcome to the Obi and Anthony Show. Bill Burr just came in. Just so you know, what we're dealing with off the air is we're just having a major issue with this guy's pu- publicists are just the most entitled individuals yeah they're awful he was cool he was great he was fine he's a very nice dude yeah. I, i'm in a bad mood because our promos were not running for the last couple of days you're a loose yeah, but wait, dude wait. in a bad mood joe you know what time it is what time 15 minutes till the tickets go on sale holy oh. shit january 16th of course myself burr Hi, Bill. great show Hello. man <laughs> atel and uh and uh and brewer but i'm almost too much mood. show yeah Dare it really I is say. a great show almost <laughs> Just she, short of the too Miami much show. Heat, yeah, of comedy show. It really is. <laughs> she came in here. She sat in the back. We never let publicists in the room because they're no, fucking no. draining life drainers. And uh, while while <laughs> while the guy's doing his interview, she taps me and asks for my pen. And then she's holding up a sign to me with his website on it to plug it. And I'm like, would you do that if it was television? She got mad because she's a, she's an extraordinarily entitled individual as a publicist, <laughs> and everybody kisses her ass. And she got mad because Danny and I reacted annoyed because I'm on the radio and she fucking tapped me. Do you believe she tapped him and held up a sign for his website? I've now, never had that in 20 years no, no, of comedy. You know, I can't believe is that Jim did not take it and then rip it up in oh, her I face. Know, I know. Because I, I'm in a horrible mood already and it would have gotten, I would have said something barbaric to her. And I didn't want to do that. <laughs> barbaric. Jimmy, that's radio gold. Barbaric. <laughs> yeah. And I would have listened. She's I would have tr- listened. She's awful. Oh, yeah. She's a very, and she's like, I don't know why it benefits you to have a bad relationship with me. I don't give a fuck. Benefits you. What? It's not, wait a minute. First of all, I'm not having a bad relationship with you. You started being a bitch about That's the That's what you got to say. If all your clients left yeah, you, what exactly, what talent yeah, what do, do you have? Do? What exactly? Yeah, what can you, you spin some plates? You'd be, you'd be barking in Times Square for Chicago tickets. Yeah, yeah. That's all you'd be able to fucking do. <laughs> you fucking cab driver. I told you, we have, you on, we have a rule, an on-air oh, rule, no, no publicists in the room. It's not about the, I, I was trying to let Roland and Talent off the hook because it wasn't their fault. But it's not even a rule that's I don't like want him in one here. of our rules. No one lets the publicist in the, the Yeah, so, so if he's studio. doing Conan, are you going to walk out and sit with him she's on the fucking set of Conan and hold up a set? Or are you going to stand by the camera and hold up a... No! Yeah, she you're going to stay in the back. She literally said, I don't know how it benefits you. The arrogant, yes. and I'm like, well, I don't know how it benefits you to have a bad relationship with us. We have a massive audience. Yeah. I don't care if she, she's like, I'll oh. never do your show again. And I'm we like, were I very, don't care. Because we were good to her. I'm client. like, we treated him great. So it's not about him. It's about how I he said that to her. Him, but it's so about she's you. gonna fuck over her clients based on how she felt she was treated. And by yeah. the way, fuck you. By the way, fuck you. I'll never do your show again until one of your clients goes, "I want to do the Open Anthony right, show," right. and you bow down oh, and go, "Okay, yeah, okay. you fucking oh, leech, oh, 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 oh. you oh, fucking leech." Fuck her. That's the problem with publicists <laughs> like that. You never. They, they should not. That's that's why I, I love my publicist. She never comes in with me. 
I don't need to be coddled. Stay outside you if they're nature. You don't come in here and hold up a sign to Jim Norton like that. The fucking <laughs> nerve of that woman while I'm working. How fucking dare you? Uh, and I know she apologized. Didn't she see you had your tuxedo on, Jimmy? How, but how she you never... Were, you were doing a show. <laughs> she's, like, I, <laughs> she's like, I've done a lot of radio shows. I've been radio shows before. And that's the respect they have for radio guys. That's the way they uh, look at radio as a medium. And that's why a lot of these dumb publicists... Jimmy. That's uh, the truly insulting part, is because if you use the Conan defense with her, she'll go, well, Conan, that's different. I said to her, would oh, you bring, I said, would you, would you, know you do his saying? TV, would you be holding up a sign? Yeah. Huh? It's a talk show. It's that, well, but that's my point. She's going to fucking sit there and tear off everybody and go, well, you guys are here. Uh, that's over there to me. Yeah, fuck her. She sounds like a I, wonderful woman. She, uh, <laughs> she certainly does. <laughs> an entitled, no, an entitled yeah. person. And I, I did let her know that. And I'm like, you're making it about you. It's not that's about sure. you. No wonder why certain publicists are found in their cars in L.A. <laughs> Wait, can we get... Jesus. I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought get... where this was going. I thought initially... <laughs> no, 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 I she thought she was... Jimmy was riffing on this person who got shot like the beginning no, of the Can we get uh, Billy Crudup? into the conversation <laughs> here. He really looks he like the guy. So much shit. There's no way he doesn't, he can't get your coke. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, back in the day, oh, he yeah. still cut an album, like that's yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. Was he there when John Holmes got murdered? <laughs> or, uh, Wonderland? One of our interns. Yeah. Uh, what the hell's his name? His oh, name is Boogie know. Nights. Boogie Nights. <laughs> she threatened to not bring her fucking client in if she wasn't allowed to the studio. If I would have known that. Yes, yeah, she said, she no, never, I'm coming in. And then I, Kenny went, no, uh, you know, you, you publicists stay out here, and then she said, "I, I my client won't go in unless I yeah, go that's in." A, that's the arrogance really? of this woman. I don't care who she is. I don't care who she handles. She doesn't get me booked on the Tonight Show. She's never going to help or hurt me. Is she in every scene uh, that he's in in movies and his TV show? Is she in the background to make sure she's there with him? She's during awful. every facet I, of dude, his life. I don't care. Who she? I, I really don't. <laughs> I don't care if she has the whole fucking <laughs> cast of Tron. It's irrelevant to me. We've done the show a long time. It's the first person to really scared. Bar a she's scared higher. that her client's going to come in here and kill it while she's out there and realize that he doesn't really need her she's at this level. She's She's a troll. <laughs> the fuck? Can you imagine? I will. I. I'm not going in if he. If he doesn't go in. If I don't go in. I wish I would hear my publicist say that. I'd fire her on the fucking spot. Uh, you fucking shit. <laughs> you shit. Yeah, God, that annoys you. Fuck you. Piece of shit. And we have promos that are supposed to be running for the show. They weren't running for the last two days. So they weren't put in the system. So I'm just in a fucking horrible mood. So yesterday we weren't here, and the promos weren't running. And that's, oh, you know. God. It's, it's okay. I, I, I Facebooked and told people they could buy tickets like three days ago, because that's how good I am on the internet. Then I got like 20 emails. Uh, dude, just to let you know, the tickets haven't gone on sale yet. Sell yet. For the Borgata. It's going to be huge. January 16th. Yeah, I think it'll sell very well. Of yeah, comedy shows. That's how, that's, if I was a publicist, that, that's the spin I would use. Yep. Yeah. I would too. The old huge. Spin. Oh, my. Huge. I, I, after to talking one. to her, I hate her even more. I have absolutely no respect for her. I don't care if she hears every word of this, How did too. you look at her and not just... I'm not going to yell and curse at her because this is, again... Like a, like a you're insane a professional. chimp, I even, her face off. I even said to her, <laughs> and don't threaten to pull him. I'm like, don't, don't hurt the rest of the platform. I don't care if you pull him from our show. Go ahead. But don't pull him from the rest of the show. Yeah, what the arrogance that, well, then, no, she will not be in any of this kingdom. I won't bring any of my people. That's yeah. the problem with publicists. And, and, and artists bring it on themselves because fucking artists cower behind their publicists. And most of them have no personalities. Some she just turn around and go, hey, lighten up. Like, you work These for me, fucker. These fucking people kill me, too. too. How <laughs> dare you insult me? I will never give you the cast of Gossip Girl. Exactly. Oh, you're a, <laughs> you're a fucking, a fuck. you're a no talent. Yeah, yeah. You're, th that's why you do what you do, because you have to associate with the business somehow. You have to glom onto it somehow while contributing nothing <laughs> you know artistically. The, you know the interesting story that she been must rude. have about celebrities that she tells her family, like she's uh, inside? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, but then you gotta tell it like you're so over it and you don't watch TV. Right, right. Yeah, I don't want to name whatever. any names, but yeah, fuck yeah. And if you don't want to uh, I go across well. the street to Mitch and Murray. Fuck you. <laughs> you're a fucking secretary. <laughs> <laughs> that really, really... And maybe I should have went out there and talked to her, but I didn't want to see Roland get blamed for something that had nothing to do with him. Were you, were you nice yeah. to her at least when you told her she couldn't... Oh. I kicked her in the cunt and told her. It was procedure. <laughs> yes, that's the bottom, what I do. The bottom line, is for her saying that, there's nothing Kenny could have done to inspire that. I was no, following no. procedure. R Roland, yes. Roland held the door open for the guy to go in. 
She tried to follow in and roll and said, no, I'm sorry. You can listen to so me So I here. gently tased her. And she goes, no, I'm going in. I'm going, no, I'm sorry. The nerd, the, not the fucking fact that she would say to somebody that works here, no, I'm no, going I'm in. Going in. Who the fuck are you? You know what she, she sounds like you, Jimmy? Did she irk you? Dude, I know. I looked at her <laughs> face. I know exactly the type of person she is. I know exactly you, right? the kind of person she is. She's every fuck. <laughs> There's nothing there. She's entitled. By the way, to the listeners, Jimmy has been standing since oh, I came yeah, in here. Oh, yeah. Because Jimmy I, is standing oh, up, yeah, man. Yeah. Because for the greater good of the company, I did not curse at her. And she thought I was being rude. Here's the problem. Nobody confronts that no woman one, I was just gonna say, on her no awfulness. Her. She's entitled. Everybody kisses her ass. I don't know. I'm a stand-up lady. I don't give a fuck about who you handle. You're not going to handle me. You go, <laughs> You just going up to her was rude. <laughs> Ding to me, you it was a, up to her was rude. <laughs> to me, it was a courtesy that I showed her. Is Jimmy the greatest? <laughs> he, Honestly, just, he just sounded like Archie Bunker. <laughs> Everything you need to do is call it dingbat. <laughs> Jimmy, why don't you let yourself get this worked up about a piece of shit like that? Who gives a fuck? fuck uh, don't, I, don't, I don't care don't, what you don't, Thank you. Don't, don't don't ever ruin your day, dude. Whatever. I'm already she, mad. She I'm already like... mad because down the hall they were supposed to put our promos in and my promos for Poughkeepsie and they weren't in for two days now. I'm very angry about that. But that annoyed me because I saw in her face she's everything I despise and di and don't respect in show business. Oh, jeez, the publicist wants to come in. Here, huh? <laughs> what are you coming in here for, uh, there, ding dang? Well, why let me don't tell you, you sit over there? <laughs> you can stay outside. <laughs> you. The Jew broad publicist <laughs> wants to come in and count his pennies. Oh, oh Jesus. The no I've got to hurt a client like that and not let him promote in front of this audience. It's like, do you, you know, know what, how you know stupid she sounds you are? like? She sounds like, remember when they did the TV version of the Letterman-Leno battle? Remember oh, Leno's yes, manager? the manager. Yeah, that, she, she sounds happy. like the, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Helen Kushnick. Yeah, like oh. the, because obviously you never met her in real life. The TV version, TV the book version. version, that's what she sounds right, like. right. But uh, I, I would have to, to me, to me, it was a courtesy to go talk to her, because I guess again, publicists they're like every other, but everybody else in show business, they're just all behind the scenes sneaks. They're non-contributors. Nobody just talks face to face. Nobody just goes, look, that was our rule. That was not rolling. That was our. Nobody does that. They're and just in all front snakes. of, and by the way, in front of one of our bosses. Saying that we yeah. were assholes, but we weren't assholes. It's a great fucking one of our, thing. Who, who, which one of our bosses? Fucking who? What boss? Well, who was it, uh, Kenny? I'll... The new boss of the talent handler. That's not our boss. Oh, it's not my boss. Same as Roland the old boss. boss. Yeah, it's Roland's boss. Fuck him. Well, no, no, she, she, she. <laughs> Roland was great to her though. I'm teasing, of course. I love the and little the fucking, man. And the fucking, the fucking slave mentality that perpetuates every goddamn artist in this business uh... that lets these fucking pieces of shit yeah. actually go. No, I'm the one that needs to. Be tended to right now. I'm important. Go fuck yourself. She was the important. You know, it, to her, she was the important one in this whole thing. Fuck with it, whatever he you know wanted what? to say or do or anything. She's in. I'm charge. not going to say a bad word about her because I don't know how it helps me to have a bad relationship <laughs> yeah. with that person. You know, I've said never that. Heard of. Bill Burr, you are right. <laughs> but it was almost like I was but going over there. Jimmy. If she didn't tap me, you want to yeah. be on Hot 97 ever in your life, buddy? <laughs> her, <laughs> Bill, I she, can make that happen. She tapped me and held up a sign. That, to me, was all I needed to know about her. The the uh, the sign my, said, want to fuck? Yeah, and I said, no. <laughs> the pomposity, if I may. Yeah, oh, you may. The lack of respect for radio that people like that have. This dummy, this dummy, who obviously doesn't do her job well, would rather have him promote probably on a local news show than on this Right, show, which right. has a, a lot more listeners because they don't understand what radio. Mm -hmm. They're just dumb. and it's going to make him more personable. It's not just like and he was great. It was not going to do it him. No, we we're talking video games with the fucking guy. It's not like and everyone that comes in here doesn't have to talk about that movie. We'll plug it. We'll get it across and everything. But how about you let the guy be a human fucking being and be relatable to people that go, oh wow, okay, that's that guy. It's I'll never cool do that like show that. again. And she's so sitting there holding up a sign. The plug the website. Not for not for nothing. And this is yes, no sir. disrespect to that guy because uh -huh. he was really cool, but. But I was in here when Ed Norton was in here. You didn't get anything like that with Ed Norton. And Ed no, Norton no. is a goddamn Oscar winning Who was fucking. It? Yes. Right? Who was Am it? Am I wrong? Uh, it was uh, Zach um, Levi. Yeah. No way. The guy I... from Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. Chuck. Holy shit. Well, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> if it's not on ESPN, I, I don't know too. what it is. I said that. And it's, and it's not a conspiracy that. theory. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Let me tell said, you, she, you wait are, a minute. she was exhibiting signs of mind control. <laughs> mind control. 
I think the harp unit oh, was dude. tuned into her. That made me laugh so hard just then that I got lightheaded. I almost passed out. It was such a shooting laugh that came out of my face. A the secret city. society of the publicists. <laughs> That's what it's all about. You know, it's, 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 it's something. That, it's the Illuminati. You know what I like? I like when he goes to storm in somewhere and he acts like they don't know he's coming. And you they show him from behind, walk in. The and camera's be, there. Uh, they're already in the office. Yeah, yeah. When he walked in. What, what, are, you, what are you doing here? Yeah. Aha. Ugh. Yeah, well, dude, uh, yeah, but you know what's worse? Wall those Street are the only Boys guys. Club. Those are the only conspiracy theorists that they put on TV. It's just like Jerry Springer. It's the worst of the worst. The worst they get on there. I see things. Yeah, it's that yeah. approach. <laughs> it's the storm in and pretend like you're just storming in yeah. thing. Or it's the Michael Moore thing when you walk into the Kmart corporate office and they go, yeah, you can't come upstairs with your fucking cameras. Yeah, yeah. Just show it up. And he goes, well, obviously they're hiding they're something. They're hiding something. No, dickhead. You can't roll up with a fucking camera <laughs> crew. I like the uh, the Jesse Ventura approach is the Ralph Cramden approach when he walks in. Aha! <laughs> oh, cocktail time! Come on out, Hob! Come on out, Hob! I know you're up to something. Yeah. And you know that I know. You know that I know <laughs> that the Hob unit's doing mind control. <laughs> humna, humna, humna. Uh, Area 51, humna, humna. They got guns. Let's run, not. Uh, Wouldn't it be great at the end of every episode when Ventura's stupid theories are proved wrong? If yeah. he had to act like Cramden when he yeah, when yeah. he realizes he's wrong, just and make that face and kind of <laughs> wave his arms around, and then just go to the black girl at the table, baby. You're, you're the, the greatest. greatest. <laughs> you're the greatest. Sad I'm thing. Driving. The sad thing is he isn't 100 percent oh, wrong. Christ. He's just the, he's not the guy. He's so not the guy. He's not the guy. He if, if, you, if you just sat there and just talked about the Federal Reserve in a calm. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, they couldn't have it. If they figured out everything was built on I'm sand. I'm going in. Here's the secret building where all the conspiracy is. It, why don't you just fucking ask somebody? Walk in. <laughs> we spoke with a man in a van in the middle of the desert. <laughs> You know, that was you know the, the most <laughs> ridiculous thing I ever saw. No, the, the worst one. The worst one is that ghost hunters. Ah. Oh. Like, I love how you're going to watch the episode. Like, the th like this is the episode. They're going to prove that ghosts exist. Yes. But for some reason, this isn't international news at this point. Like, no. you're going to walk into the office the next day. Hey, did you see? They, they proved it. The trailer is always some kind of thing where it's like, did you hear that? Dude, I don't know what that was. Something went, ah! And then ghost hunters. And then it's always grainy footage. It's, the best part is when yeah. they sit there and they get mad at the ghost. And they set up all this <laughs> stuff. And they, the ghost always has a name. They're like, Mary Ellen, <laughs> you have 17 minutes to show yourself. I love. Or else what? I love that. Or else what? I've been the, here a while. 17 yeah. minutes. I could do that on my head. <laughs> I love that fucking reality show, like, tease. I used to do a bit about that. How, like, they'll be like, coming up next on Bakers or whatever. And I'm yeah. like, it's two guys in the kitchen like, I'm going to fucking rape you. <laughs> and you're like, holy shit. I got, I'm like, I got if they this raped is... each other, it would have been in the paper six <laughs> yeah, fucking months ago. <laughs> like, they raped each other on this show. It's We're... the most dramatic moments. That's another one. That, that, like, uh, uh, any kind of paranormal activity or something. They always have that night vision. It's grainy. You see the people's eyes are all open wide. And, and, and you can see their retinas. What was that? It's like, and what was that? Downstairs, and then they run downstairs. It's I like, why, it's don't a, have, why don't you have a camera in every room? Shaky it's, camera. And then you hear, oh, oh yeah. my God! <laughs> tune in for the next. And, and then you tune in, and nothing ever happened. Yeah. The oh my God was like, we're at a film. Oh my God! Someone should have gotten the film! That's Dude, fucking I, I can a literally great go point. on the internet and look at my apartment from outer space, see a <laughs> yes. picture of it, and they can't find a ghost in an eight room colonial. No. <laughs> They can't, get, they can't get footage of it. That's a, oh, we just missed it. That's a great uh, point about not having a camera. And every, they're, they're, they literally react like a dad that just had a kid for the first time. Yeah, right, yeah. Honey, we're going to tape everything. <laughs> quick, quick, get over here. He's walking. <laughs> <laughs> It's, you know what it is? Horrible. It's the music man. That's what they're doing with yes, ghosts. With ghosts? <laughs> what does that mean? The music man was uh, uh, this, this old musical. The guy uh, didn't know anything about instruments. And he came there and he got the town all fucking stirred up that they were going to put in a pool hall. Ah, oh, Jesus, Joe, I can't remember. We did it's it old. We did it in fifth grade. It's 76 old. trombones. Let the big parade. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I did. know that story. I think I did it in fifth grade, too, or something. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was, oh, I told, did I tell you that story? Wait, uh, were, you with, were you with the star? Or? No, this is the best thing. You know that song, the Wells Fargo Wagon? 
Ooh, Jesus. They got this thing, you know, the Wells Fargo wagon is a comet. But this was their big, <laughs> this was their big excitement. Ah, the big number, that, like no, a no. Busby Berkeley movie. No, like back, back in the day, you got to, you got to let me get this story out before you trash me. Ah, I the Wells, the Wells Fargo wagon was like the stagecoach or whatever, and that would show up, and whatever you ordered was coming to town. There was no internet, no TV, so this was a big sure. deal back then. So in the movie, it's pulled by like a bunch of horses, and everybody's screaming, the Wells Fargo wagon, singing, right? Arm in arm, <laughs> dancing down the street. So in our thing, obviously our production, we don't have money for fucking horses. So there was this one kid, you know that kid who's just 5'10 in the fifth grade, mildly retarded, <laughs> and they had him pull the Wells Fargo wagon in, right? And they so the whole cast is singing the Wells Fargo wagon. All the parents are there, and this big kid comes in, pulls it in, and the crowd is so freaking out, like he starts getting freaked out, and he's pulling in, and he's just going, like, no. <laughs> he's just started yelling, and all the parents went from excitement to immediately feeling bad. <laughs> they, they made this kid play a team of horses, and, and he I, was retarded. Yeah, I didn't even realize it until years later. I'm like, holy shit, you know, so and so. I'm not gonna say his name was playing a team of horses. He got all excited. The they at least put a horse costume on him? No, they didn't. He was he, they, they dressed him up. They dressed him up like a postman or like a clerk, a bellhop, and they had him pulling a stagecoach. And he got all excited. Well, at first he was like smiling, and then, Jesus and then everybody was going like, Woo! like all oh, like, and then he just he fed off their energy and just started going. Aah! Aah! <laughs> so he brought it in at least, and then everybody got all uncomfortable. I'd love to see oh, that. Oh, it, it was brutal. Holy shit. It was brutal. At least oh. dress him up like an Asian guy <laughs> yeah, with the fucking yeah, straw hat. Like a rickshaw. Yeah. The fucking Wells Fargo rickshaw. Come down, dude. <laughs> he, he, looked like, he looked like he was going to be an offensive lineman. That's how big this kid Holy was. Holy shit. Oh, and then he fucking took a shit on the stage like a horse would. <laughs> no, he, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't like full on. He, he was a little touched. And there was something about when they, he felt it's like the first time you get a laugh on stage. That was his. Yeah, that's bad. That dude. Was that's bad. When, when retards get touched, they kill things well, sometimes. Yeah, they got to twist the neck. They yeah, got to so twist mice the neck. And men, they oh. fucking hurt them. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Joe. I just wanted to. No! No! Tickets are on sale now! Oh, shit. Yes! Sorry. Yes! <laughs> Right now! Sorry. I'll tell you, if I was a comedy fan, <laughs> oh, there's please. only one comedy show that I'd be going to. It's yep. a it's a four-in-one comedy show. It is. It's like one of those things they sell late at night for 1995. But wait, there's more. If you, <laughs> That's what it is. We yeah, also yeah. have Jim Brewer coming back. <laughs> Jim Brewer coming back. <laughs> Just pay a separate shipping in hand. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe um, you get two boxes of something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Jim will be there. <laughs> I actually, by the way, on the side note, read uh, Jim Brewer's book, man. It was fucking great. Yeah. What I read of it was fantastic. I didn't read the whole thing, but what yeah. I read was excellent, too. It was really... It's like, I just want to look for a couple... Everywhere you start, it's like, fuck, this is a great story. Fuck, oh, this is a great story. Dude, his SNL stories are, are, are alone. Yeah. I or remember worse. him telling him here those stories, but I don't... Uh, I'm not a big book reader. I, this, this surprised me about you. Yeah. With your video games and your gun collection. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I read a lot. I just don't read books what do you read he goes I to read, he goes to uh, i'm right dot com yeah <laughs> and backs right. up all his theories i'm right uh, i knew it dot yeah. org yeah <laughs> I, I told you <laughs> <laughs> no that's what everybody does including me you have your theory you have your mind made up before you even go into your research, and then you just read shit that backs up. Then you find up. the shit yeah. that backs it up. Uh, dude, exactly. I, do, I do that all the time. As soon as I read something I disagree with on the web, I go, Yo, you can't trust what you fucking read on the I go, web. I, I go like, yeah. let me go to Snopes. And I go to Snopes, and it's like, this is false. And then I'll copy-paste and send it back to the person. And go, see, that's fake. Meanwhile, why am I trusting this Snopes? What do I know what their sources no, are? No, all you got to do yeah. is just write in whatever, you, whatever point. You're trying to prove someone's ah, going to agree yeah, with all yeah. those people on there. You That's know? all I need to back up my my part of the argument. I do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. I no, I read a lot. I read a lot of uh, uh, periodicals. I read a lot of like popular science, popular mechanics. I read American. I just picture Rifleman. you walking around your house in a bathrobe with like a candle. For some reason, in my world, you live in like a castle. That's kind of. I have been known to walk. <laughs> he around doesn't have with doors. He just has a that, candelabra. He, yeah, he just has those long drapes that you just sort of walk through. <laughs> <laughs> long dra long flowing drapes. Yeah, and you have a big chalice of wine. And I got that uh, 
that big long gowny sleep thing with the the pointy hat. Yeah, and it's a little your candle. I trust your journey was pleasant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the big knocker. <laughs> I hope you find your room to your liking. <laughs> and it's just a. Do you hear the and... werewolves? They are the children of the <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to his house? You ever been to his no. house? No. It's awesome. it's an experience. Uh, of oh, course it is. So much it's dude, fun. It, it's the greatest place. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. It's a fucking I mean, with the exception of the host. It's a fucking <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, get out of here. Long He's ribbing ass. Of shit. No, it's an amazing <laughs> fucking hang, dude. The pool, the jacuzzi. It's like it's yeah. it's just a great fucking hang. But when we, I do that gig with you, where, yes. where is it again, Jimmy? Oh, it's fun. I forget. Borgata, yes, January 15th. By the way, I, did, I didn't show Bill. This is this is like the, the billboard we're going to get. Oh, my God. Which is fine. It's, I, it's I, all have the, I have that up on my, my Facebook page. But have you seen the original one? That, that's what I, That's what you want. Simple, our names, boom. This is, boom, you know what, Doug? This is the original artwork. They didn't have David Tell's picture yet. This is what they wanted to do. Yeah, why would you? He's just oh the best comic no, 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 in the it, last it twenty got, years. <laughs> no, no, this was not the final problem. They were going to put Dave in here. Oh my! This God. is what they wanted to use. Look at what they wanted to use. Look what? at you! You're holding a fish. Why? What and what is the <laughs> what is the thing? It's some famous please rowing me? picture. It's not a famous thing? rowing picture because no one knows it. Is that horrendous? The publicist. That looks like we're remaking fish. on Golden Pond. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, you're holding Walter. <laughs> Big old crafty son of a bitch. <laughs> holding that publicist. <laughs> Rotten fish face. <laughs> Beat it, self-important taxi cab driver. <laughs> Hang your fucking hack license in the back, replaceable. Wouldn't you love to <laughs> Excuse me, replaceable contributes nothing. Could you bring in talent star famous? And then um couldn't make it latches on. Could you take uh uh Actor slash talented guy somewhere. Thanks a lot. Does nothing. Won't be missed. <laughs> Thank you. Gives nothing. Contributes nothing. Could you bring in memorable famous? Oh, one more Thank thing. Easily just... replaceable. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey it's, uh, it's all about you. Could you uh, please not come in the studio? Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, unrecognizable from the next. Could you please bring in stands out in a room? Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. You Thanks a lot. Willie Loman. Get out oh, of here. And one more thing. Willie Desperately Loman. trying to be important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, I don't. I can't see how. If my, I'm sorry. If my publicist did that, I would step on a foot. <laughs> oh, that is sure. It really Excuse would. me. Yeah. Stands next to someone who actually does something. <laughs> <laughs> She's a. That, that's literally oh. like your chauffeur. Yeah. Getting out and saying, Ted Danson is not going to walk the red carpet unless I can walk in front of him. Yeah. You're a chauffeur. Is that it? You're nothing. You're a chauffeur I, and a schedule person. You're, right. a, you're a calendar. I guarantee she's going for a reality show. Oh, the you publicist. Yeah, yeah. The I publicist. Superstar publicist. Oh, I hate publicists for that reason. We always she see the celebrities. But who are the people behind the celebrities? Ugh. Here she is. Let me, let me get my <laughs> iPhone. See this? It says Friday the 19th, and I touch it, and, and dates come up. Yep. Here's what she is. It's a calendar. It's a calendar. Two <laughs> presses of a button. I can hit things and know exactly where I got to be. Oh, tonight, I'm going to be at bar nine with uh, Brother Joe and uh, the she rest of the guys. She is a secretary be performing. with delusions there. of grandeur. Dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, especially when I was not cursing at her, and I gave her the courtesy of coming out and addressing her. Uh, I, this is a woman used to being handled with kid gloves, and it's like, bitch, I don't give a fuck who you have she's the one that gets the last word she says you guys were pieces of yeah. shit and walks away and is like well i showed them the the idea that you came up to her and said something is unfathomable she I, can't believe she is at an of, of absolutely no relevance to me i don't care if you book people on leno i don't care if you handle de niro but i don't give a fuck would you fuck her yes <laughs> Just so she has the memory. The angry fucking Jimmy would give her. Just so she has the. <laughs> I want. Can we look her up on IMDb? I uh, want to see her roster. I'm curious. Yeah, where is it? I don't, don't know her name. IMDb Pro. I honestly don't know her name. I'll find out. No, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, fucking we'll, name. We'll I plan it. on contacting whoever she works for. I'm not saying it's going to matter, but yeah. the the fact that she she I'll never bring anyone to your show again, because we didn't want you, you no talent, sitting in the room with your fucking leech energy. What do you? Yeah. What do you? Do that's yeah. my job. Then do it before he comes to my job. Yeah, she yeah, How exactly. dare you? She actually went for the old like you'll never work in this town again. Yeah, uh, kind Jimmy, of a, if you a tore thing. up 
the level of ego that she sounds like she has. If she, if she uh, poked you and tore and you oh, nodded and you did that classic oh, Jim Norton. Just uh, tore guys, up. guys, my client doesn't feel comfortable unless I'm sitting behind him constantly blackberrying the entire She's fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Constantly blackberrying and then holding up signs when we're having a fucking Dude, human conversation. Sat there with a fu and I could see her from where I was and she sat there with a fucking scowl on her face. She's a and you talk about energy sucking. It She's started the to get in my head. Distraction. It got in my head. I was like, is she pissed off at the way this is going? Like, yeah, what, yeah. Who the fuck is she? Is she his assistant? Is she a cunt? Who is she? She's a Both. nobody. <laughs> no, she's just a publicist, and they're pushy by nature, which is how they get their clients' things. But I know the balance. She was despicable. She was despicable and rude <laughs> and entitled. And I'm telling Suffer you, her and suck a tash. Artists that despicable. <laughs> artists that have that fucking person, you have an idiot representing you. I don't care who yeah. she handles. Yeah. But my publicist pulled that shit. I would spit on her. It's unfucking believable, dude. Those people are butlers, and it's like I'm butler. not gonna say her name on the air. No, 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 no. I have a roster though. Okay, if who, you had a fucking dinner it. party and your butler treated somebody like that, you'd be like, "What are you out of your fucking yeah. mind? You work for me." She probably has a great roster. She's probably a good publicist. No, no, Does don't, don't hedge your bets now, Jimmy. I don't care. Let's stay let's with the see anger. What the roster is. Mm. Um, yeah, she's. Uh, let's see. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking. She's vice think. president of entertainment for this one. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I don't see shit. There is not. If Danny, I would have known, her, his head. if I would have known what her roster is, I would have pissed on her foot. She has <laughs> nobody I care about. No, I mean, I'm sure they're nice enough people. Right, not Jim. Dude, Mandy Moore's a great actress. Trying movies. to make it in the world. And but, Zach was uh, a nice... I liked him. Yeah. He was a good dude. Zach, Levi yeah. was very nice. I literally but don't know who any of those people I don't either. She was abysmal. There, that, yeah, that couldn't be their whole... That's just got to be hers. I, that's just got to be hers. Yeah. But the, the rest of the agency. Look up the rest of the agency. Is that our last name? Well, guess what? Yes. Fragrance. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's that that supports something I didn't want to say earlier before I had the information. Yes, but sir. it's like people that represent tons of reputable people don't fucking act like that. Anybody that right. throws their weight around doesn't Listen, have Joe, shit to you've been in the around. business long enough to know how a publicist hey, acts. Bill, you know, they call me Kid Showbiz where I come from. <laughs> oh, from everywhere. That's what I heard. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere hey, I, got I, a, go. I got a, everywhere I got a great I go. YouTube yeah. video. Do you? I yeah, like YouTube we got it. When, whenever we go to take a break, I want to. I, I got to well, show you this. When we guys. take a break, it's we're done. Home time. By the way, is anybody uh, on Jesus. Twitter? Mister got here uh, fucking five minutes before the show was over. Is that is that Levy on Twitter? Is he on Twitter? Who? Oh. Uh, that was the beginning oh, of a trashing, and I totally no. avoided it. No, I totally avoided it. I'm sorry, buddy. I apologize. I I'm not paying attention you. to them. I'm very bad. At I'm sorry. Huh? This I wasn't going to trash oh, you. Come on. That's, oh, that's, I was that's trying what you come in for. No, it isn't. What I come in for. I'm saying that's what I love, Bill. I love Bill Burr. I'm not buying this. He's setting me up for the overhand right. I really do. I find you There's very... Oh. His name is... Uh, it's uh, Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y-L-E-V-I at Twitter. He's a cool guy. Don't fuck with him. But yeah. his publicist... Yeah, he was very cool, and he's a good actor, and you know I liked him a lot, but his publicist was really embarrassingly entitled and awful. Yes. He should know that. Maybe he doesn't even know that. She's awful. Yeah. He oh, should. by the way, I'm, I, me and Joe are going to have a little road trip driving down to D.C. Uh, we're going to be performing uh, there uh, tonight, actually. Yeah. At the, uh, was it the listener? I'm so worse. The listener <laughs> auditorium. <laughs> the listener. What is it? It's going to be a listener there. Are you I, a bad I, plugger? I am the worst. <laughs> you know, you know what it is? You know, some people can't. Publicist. People can't. <laughs> We really just proved why I have. I love my publicist. So do I. After we're sitting here, I'm agreeing with you guys, calling them chauffeurs. In the back of my head, I'm just feeling him going like, really? Is this how this son of a bitch feels? <laughs> is, is that how he feels? Yeah. Well, well. They're oh. pushy by nature, which they have to be, but there's a lie. My publicist would never be have that rude. That's just yeah, rude, yeah, that's man. You, you say you threaten not Jim, for just your to recap, a radio station? Just to recap, how, how did you feel? About Zachary Levi's publicist. Just, you know, just for people who got here yeah, late. Sum it up. People who got here late. Hmm. It's, it, how, how, remember when De Niro in Raging Bull was being thrown in the jail cell? Uh. The way he was speaking to those guards? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I wanted to talk to her. Yeah. That's actually how she got in the fucking room. She kind of, <laughs> he was actually politer going into that than she was getting in. Poor Roland. Uh, oh, what an dead. atrocity. You don't know where you're going because you don't know your history. Oops. You got to give three times I've speech. come here, Roland has been wearing oh. that same Bruce Springsteen Those are the lemon yeah. He is ap and, you know, no, and I, and I, and I, so I was going to say, I would not be surprised <laughs> if he owns three different ones.
What? Like, oh, dude, one of the greatest things I've ever seen is when I did this. I did this show for the troops, and Bruce Springsteen was there, and Roland was a, a is a ridiculous like likes Springsteen more than you like ACDC. Uh -huh. He was floating. Uh, he couldn't even move. He was like paralyzed every time Springsteen walked by. It was fucking awesome to watch really? a man like him have a dream come true. He got a hug from him. <laughs> wow, that's do you really like ACDC? I love ACDC. Mm -hmm. Do you like them? They're great, man. Yeah, I, I think that they're they're very antiquated when it comes to their online business. They're really dumb when it comes to that. Yeah, but as far I, as a band, they're kick ass. They yeah. are. You know what? I I just I just saw the Rush documentary that came out last year, and I broke. I put all my Rush the ones from the albums from the seventies on my iPod, and I've been going fucking crazy. Right, right. This whole oh, Rush. God, dude, I haven't listened to them in so long. Yeah, it's because it was oh. a pain in the ass, like to just. <laughs> <laughs> I never got into those guys. <laughs> you don't like the trees? I, uh, there is unrest in, in the, the forest. forest. There is trouble with, with the, the trees. trees. Oh, the right. maples want more sunlight, All right. but the oaks ignore their pleas. Not one of the biggest hits. I know, but that's a no, good one. The trees is a classic rock oh, song. But Great. There is unrest and in the forest. It's no limelight. Is it really about oh, trees? Limelight. Come on, limelight. Dude, they, uh, they're the only band I've ever listened to that I still love, even after I heard this lyric. Who has come to slay the dragon? <laughs> 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 yeah. They really are That's just bad. nerds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nerds. They're LARPers. <laughs> they talk about that in the uh, in the documentary. They talk about like after their fifth album, they were like, "We decided after that album not to do any more twenty minute songs that went yeah. through five parts about kingdoms and uh, dragons." <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Renaissance <laughs> fair shit. <laughs> dragons right. are queers. We get it. <laughs> they talk about playing one of their twenty minute fantasy epics for Ace Freely, and they go. He just didn't get it. <laughs> I'm talking about the cl culture clash. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you just... know you like to fuck hookers and do blow ace? Let's do this 20 minute song about Frodo yeah, yeah. Baggins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know, I, I'm gonna try to cram in everything I wanted to talk about. I was, uh,. Out, out in L.A., right, and I turn my TV on, and uh, the, the show you got on here, the, the girl there with the leopard boots, had uh, oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Wendy Williams Wendy. had uh, Rit, brought Richard Simmons out, and he comes out, all right? He's lost like 30 pounds. Yeah, He's 61 yeah. years old. You know how you start to lose your elasticity, so it's, you actually look better if you stay fat when you're old. <laughs> yeah. And he comes out, dude, with those little candy-striped shorts on <laughs> and that tank top on. With his hair plugs from like 1983, he could They're see awful. through. They're awful. You see Dude, through his hair. It was fucking horrific, and I was. It just made me think of like, <laughs> you know, people who you you go into show business, and some people are themselves, and other people are a character. So you have a costume. Yeah. Like he might be at the top of the list. You know, Michael Jackson kept wearing the loafers yeah, and the yeah, short yeah. pants, and it starts to get embarrassing when you hit 50. He is 61 years old. I think he might be at the top of the list. With the I was shorts. even thinking like like fucking Angus to a certain level, dude. Like that sure, guy yeah. when, when he's 60, dude, to still be wearing the schoolboy yeah, outfit. Schoolboy yeah. outfit. But my, my vote goes Richard Simmons with the little shorts and then the uh, wife beater uh, tank top. Oh, and his I used to be obese man tits, 61 year old yeah. man tits <laughs> peeking out the side, and he didn't even have his fake tan. He was no. a fucking mess. And you did like <laughs> that hair was this sparse. Like shit. Somebody yesterday said it, it was like that little stuff that you throw in an Easter basket yeah. before you put the little <laughs> chocolate <laughs> eggs on it. Richard Simmons and Gene Wilder. Yeah, the only Gene two people Wilder. that have that hair on the fucking and Gene planet. Wilder tried to do a comb over with it. Oh man, but that's, is there anything worse than old fake straight hair Gene Wilder <laughs> when he started flattening it down? It's, the, oh, the, it's the comb worst, over. Man. No, that's the funny thing about like uh, when you, you watch those hair plug commercials and somebody, you always say the guy goes, like yeah he goes i wish i did this 10 years ago it's like no you didn't if you did, no you you'd didn't have, all you'd have had left with those plugs <laughs> all your other hair would have been gone and you'd have had the <laughs> no that's why all these people who are getting plastic surgery they're heroes they're letting them practice on their face like all those <laughs> real housewives that you see with their fucked up fats because when we're 80 we're going to actually be able to look 20 because yeah. of what they did to those That's people's one more face. the doctor went and went, Dude. okay, I should have yeah. done this. Yeah. Did you ever <laughs> Did you ever hear that Pat Oswalt joke that he did about uh, when they were doing the celebrity? Remember they were doing that show where they make you look like a celebrity through plastic oh, yeah. surgery? How fucked up was that? Pat like, Oswalt had permanent this... plastic surgery? Yeah. 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 Pat Oswalt had a joke about it where he goes, do you realize if they did this show 20 years ago, he's like, there'd be a guy on the table, and just as he was going under, he'd go, make me look like Gutenberg. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't even know who that is. Steve, Steve Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Oh, Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> because we have dudes walking around oh, looking yeah. like John Oates. <laughs> it's like, it's like he... <laughs> yeah, it really is kind of a time-sensitive little uh, project you're going for there. <laughs> God, that would suck. <laughs> Who would you pick? Who's the timeless celebrity? The one that you could go. Paul Newman. Newman, uh, Brad Pitt, Tom right? Cruise. That would work. Cruise. You couldn't go wrong, right? I don't know. Could you? Jerry Vale. <laughs> <laughs> who's no, like, who's, who's the do doctor? Who's the doctor in uh, can Cannonball Run? <laughs> that doctor. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, Eli. We're going to dislocate your orbital. Or Do you Elon. have a fight? Heard he got, somebody threw a pencil at him. He got a pencil in his eye when, that when that he was, was a kid. Yeah, yeah he should Jesus. thank that guy. That's where he had a career. <laughs> totally. It would have been the same without it. that eye. That eye is what made that guy. Well, right? that's the great thing about show business. Jack everything, Elam? Everything that didn't that get you pussy. Name? Yeah. Before you got into show business, when you get into show business, that exact thing is, is the thing it's, that's going to make you huge. What got you into show business? Jamie Farr's yeah. nose. They probably pulled yeah. him around by <laughs> during yeah. lunch Mike, break. Knows, right? Mike Tyson's tendency to rape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got him around a pussy in show. Bad while you're growing up. <laughs> Good once you're fat. Yeah, once you're in show business, it's phenomenal. <laughs> fantastic. Totally acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, what the fuck is that guy's name? The doctor. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> it was Jack Elam. I it think is, it's right? his real name. Was, uh, What's the line you were going to say? Dislocate what? what the no, I was going to say that that's what, if they were going to make you look like him. The doctor, you know, they, they announce what they're doing. Now we're going to dislocate his <laughs> oh, orbital wow. ACL. We're, start, <laughs> we're cutting away at the muscle that holds the eye yeah. in place. That so prevents it from it just looking to the right. Distinct cockeyed look. We're adding gut. Him and uh, we are also using uh, pictures of Marty Feldman. <laughs> oh. Remember him? Marty Feldman. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, seriously, thank again. God he was as ugly as he was. He yeah. made him fucking famous. I'm it not saying the guy famous. wasn't talented or funny, but, I mean, those fucking goofy eyes and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't have went as far, right? No. Nope. You know, I folks? I wouldn't think so. I would I mean, think so, folks. That's what, that's what I'm throwing out there if you guys are on. Yeah, if you just want to keep this. You know, I love this, this topic is just slowly dying. <laughs> it's just, we're all it doesn't have, matter, though, because the show is fucking We're over. all starting to have that, that slow look of panic in our eyes. Like, like Jesus, ah, Anthony, you got anything? All right. Not a goddamn thing. I got one thing, though. I know I'm going to be at the Borgata on January 16th. Yay! I am absolutely going. Good. And uh, I am going to see probably the comic show of... The a decade. Millennia. It is a great show. Let's say the decade right now. <laughs> uh, I'll be like FC tonight and tomorrow. You know, the new so. decade, because it'll be a brand new one starting up. Can I plug my show? No. Yeah, Thanks. Right, right please do, please. Uh, as long as you're on uh, January 16th at the Tropicana. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not next week, but every uh, we're off next week, I think, probably because of the holiday. But every Tuesday at the Ace of Clubs uh, at 9 Great Jones Street in New York City, I uh, co-host a show called Righteous Kill, 8.30 p.m. Please come yeah. down. It's always fun. Righteous Kill. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. Great right ass. Yeah. yeah. Come to the show. Nice. <laughs> Going to be a good fucking show. Success. Wow. Worst death line ever. Uh, what's it? When Pacino was dying at the end of Righteous Kill, he goes to De Niro, continued success. <laughs> and then just worst that. line ever. Oh, horrible. That movie was a real know. disappointment. What about man. the what about the one I showed you last night on YouTube? Uh, Shark Attack Three, famous line. Uh, oh, it was a classic. That was, that was great. Famous line from Shark Attack. Line I, I got this Doesn't it have my, to be a I, famous I, movie for a no, famous no, line? Just a horrific. I just got this segment on my podcast where I just started. Do you remember that? Uh, it started with that movie uh, uh, Over the Edge. Do you remember that? You must remember that movie. Matt Dillon, one of his first movies. It's about these these fucking suburban white kids that going crazy. And at one point, <laughs> somehow the the parents and the cops they all have this. They have a meeting in the cafeteria about their out of control kids, and they're all yelling at each other. Meanwhile, the kids sneak to the school. They lock them in the room and start vandalizing the school. So the cops runs to the locked door and he's looking out the window this fucking six foot two lummox looking woman student runs by with a giant globe for some reason stops and looks at the cop and goes eat it you stinking pig <laughs> <laughs> one of the worst lines i've ever heard it's so bad i loved it and I didn't realize that there was worse lines in movies, and people have been sending me these things. And there's this movie called Shark Attack 3. And at just at one point in the movie, the, the, uh, the guy just goes, all right, you know, kids, they'll see you in the morning. And then the dude's talking to the hot chick. He goes, yeah, I'm feeling a little tense. She goes, oh, yeah, how, how can you lose your tenseness? He goes, well, I could lose it after I eat your pussy. <laughs> just out of nowhere. <laughs> that isn't the exact line, but it's just completely out of nowhere. You're just like, what? I hate to disagree, Bill, Is but I would put bad? that as one of the greatest <laughs> lines. 
<laughs> well, it is a famous line. It's a famous line in horrific movies. That, uh... They got all those. I got them up on um, the mmpodcast.com. Somebody sent me a movie trailer of this movie called The Car. And it's basically, it's a car possessed by the devil. That's the premise of, of the guess. whole, yeah, that's, it's, it's the complete ripoff of that. And yeah. it, it's absolutely horrific. It looks like it came up before Christine, though. It looks older than Christine. It yeah. just looks that way. It looks I like bet, it was yeah. made before they understood how to make a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Stephen King lifted Christine from the car. No, he's up there in Maine. He's up there doing his own, he's up, yeah, his own devices. He, he doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He doesn't watch TV. All right, do we have to get out of here? We do. We're done. Yeah, uh, yeah. Was great. We, we sort of, we sort of uh, petered show. out. Nah, it's okay. No? Uh, I like, I like Jimmy's uh, his uh, test pilot jacket. Oh, thank you. This is a good warm one. That's good. This is a nice one. Pilot to Bombardier. Bobby Kelly just bought a jacket that folds up into a pillow. No, and he didn't, did dude. He? It literally when you go to his dude, house, it's, it's the best, dude. dude it's... Unfolds into a tent. <laughs> 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 You go to his house, it's literally like watching QVC. It's all kinds it's like, dude, of look at this, dude. Uh -huh. He's trying it on and shit. Do you like this, dude? Dude, and now look, it becomes a pillow. You're on the plane. Boom, you're laying down. Tell you, dude, sleep. shop it's... for image, dude. <laughs> dude. The jacket is literally this thick. And I go, <laughs> Bobby, I go, is that warm at all? He goes, it's the fucking warmest jacket I've ever owned, oh, bro. of course. It's some kind of fucking no, futuristic space jacket. Yeah. <laughs> no. dude, it's the fucking warmest jacket I ever owned, dude. Maybe if you're, I light it on fire, you fuck. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> look at this, these forks I bought, dude. They have Fork. fucking little pockets on them. You can hide shit in the fucking pocket that hangs off of the fork little while pockets. you eat. It's fucking He's amazing, dude. Block, Best pocket, fucking yeah. forks I ever brought, dude. Bobby <laughs> Kelly best. has made four million dollars in this business, <laughs> yeah. and he's blown it on fold-up bicycles, ponchos, <laughs> fishing tackle. Yeah. He's a gadget idiot. He yeah. loves that shit, dude. dude look at these; they're energy rocks. You put them, they would look like earrings. <laughs> yeah, really? Cool. <laughs> you need them, dude. Believe me. I, beforehand, it felt like shit. Now it just feels. Boom! Great. Put them on your chest. You relax. You fall asleep. Uh, Boom! Good dreams. Dude. I dude, got just this try it. Keyboard. Dude, for me, for me, just try for it. Me. Just try it. <laughs> I got this keyboard, dude. It was nine grand. The buttons are flat. <laughs> yeah, but you have that one over there with regular buttons, dude. Ugh. Try you gotta it. press try the it. buttons down, dude. Try it's the it, fucking worst. Dude, dude, dude it's, the, it's the future, dude. Yeah. It's you the won't future. go back to the old way, dude. You know what's the best is when Bobby buys something you actually like. All you gotta do is hang around for about nine days before he tries to sell it to you for like oh, half yeah, price. Yeah, yeah. Because he's getting a new one. He does have a very short attention. Attention span with his sure gadgetry. A goldfish. Uh, okay, uh, Bill, Bill Burr, uh, where are you? Where are you? Comics? Uh, the, uh, that one's that? sold out. Listener. That's sold out, so don't bother. Uh, Listener uh, Auditorium in uh, Washington, D.C. tonight. Uh, me and uh, Joe DeRosa, the teen idol sensation of the Opie and Anthony program. <laughs> where are yes. you, comics? Uh, comics uh, tomorrow night. Oh, in uh, Connecticut? Yep. Yeah, oh, okay. Tomorrow that's night. Good. After and I saw your rave reviews of the place. You said it's it's a good game, man. Yeah, it was very yeah. enjoyable. I'm and uh, Bill's got his DVD, uh, Let It Go. Let It Go. Available at Amazon.com. Yeah, which has an extra 21 minutes that they didn't show on TV because of the commercials there. Yeah, see? Uh, commercials, huh? The commercials the there. The publicist there can go uh, fuck herself there, geez, read it. Jeez, dear. Oh, jeez, meathead. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we got that. We got that. Uh, and, of course, January 16th. Please don't forget. Oh, um, boy. Go see all the boys uh, down there in Atlantic City. And good luck, E-Rock. Uh, E-Rock, uh, his nuptials are today. E-Rock oh, will be a married man after this. What's the over-under that he pukes during the ceremony out of uh, nervousness? Uh, out of nervousness or eating too much? Yeah. <laughs> I bet they have a mayonnaise cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's just frosted in mayo. Yeah. This uh. is wonderful. They're pushing mayo into each other's face. <laughs> oh, That's really I disgusting. love you, too. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Clang, 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 clang. Time to eat a milkshake and <laughs> give a toast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. All right, let's get out you of clang, here. You clang the um, fork on the glass and you eat some toast. Yeah. Oh, oh Danny. Do we what? have to leave it there? Yes. No, I'm just fucking with Oh, Danny. Danny, Danny it, was, it was going great. I'm sorry. Yeah. Danny. I don't uh, mean to say words when comics are in the room. <laughs> amazing <laughs> job helping out. Thank you so much. Of course, it's like the, the old Travis. days when we used to do that. That the the canceled. When uninformed. was that? Oh my god! The uninformed. I don't even remember many, that anymore. Many yeah. moons ago. Three remember years. that? Yeah. Well, we used to have fun here. Yeah, we used to have fun. Just uh, come over here. Good yeah. old days. There was something about me was flying fun. three thousand miles for free <laughs> that just sort of killed that show. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs>
<laughs> Why didn't we? We, we could have. We should have been drinking that whole time doing that shit. We were at fucking midnight on a Saturday. Oh, uh, because we really. had hope. We had hope that it was actually going to do something. Fuck, was going to happen. Just be getting bombed. Well, you guys had like two live shows. Everything yeah. was like pre-taped on a Sunday at two o'clock. That's Leave true. the hope at the door. Yeah, we've, well, that was the whole thing that. about not getting paid. You know, you, you had to go out and get paid. <laughs> no, Saturday I, hey, night. believe me, I'm not. I, I, I'm, I'm there with you. <laughs> Danny's taking swipes at, a, at the damn show that <laughs> no, never. Right? The, don't bite the hand <laughs> that doesn't feed, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> the hand that starves you. <laughs> so, yeah, don't bite the hand that is slapping everybody. Ah, right? oh, chip. Oh, You're Jesus. precocious. Um, <laughs> we'll uh, see you all uh, Monday. Have a pleasant weekend, and um, I'll try to also. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah,